water that Jim Henson was in at the time. With a, like a couple sticks doing all the puppeteering. Completely submerged underwater, mind you. <coughs> We'd love you, Jim. Okay, yeah, seriously though, if you guys have not seen the Kermit the Frog version of Once, uh, of Once in a Lifetime, I'm gonna drop it in chat. It's like two minutes long, do yourself a favor. Just watch that while we're on intermission. Pretty good, because that was my introduction to Talking Heads, believe it or not. That makes a good way to get in. Yeah. Thanks, Kermit. I love it. Looks like Thanks. you got some good done for me. Nice job, Kermit. Nice what? job, Kermit. Nice job, Kermit. Nice job, Kermit. Oh, that was My weird. My God, what have I done? Uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, you know that one Twitter account, uh, images that precede legendary events? Yeah, no, I saw the one you're talking about. Yeah, they just post the first fucking frame of the Once in a Lifetime video, and everyone immediately caught on. Okay. Tough question for everyone. You can only pick one. What is the best Muppet movie? Ooh. I'm gonna go with Treasure Island. I'm gonna go with Christmas Carol. The one I haven't seen, surprisingly. Who would have guessed? I can't believe it. Hmm. A lot of different answers. I, I respect this. Muppets in Space has Hollywood Hulk Hogan in it, and that's a pretty good choice. But I gotta go with Christmas Carol. Ooh, Muppets 2011's also really good. That, yeah, that one was really good. That was like the big reboot they did, right? after. Um... That was the revival of the Muppets franchise. Pretty much. What was yeah. that movie? The one that just Sarah came out Marshall? a couple years. The, one that's the one? one that he was in. The guy, the guy who started working on those Muppet movies, because like they, there was a thing with the puppets in that, and they liked it so much that they wanted him to do a Muppet revival. Oh, I thought he was just passionate about it because I remember seeing him doing interviews. That too, because he was he was uh, on How I Met Your Mother, so he had a lot of pretty. It, yes, pretty good it started with forgetting Sarah Marshall, and then they're like, "Damn, that's really good," because uh, there was like a whole puppet work in there. They're like, "Why don't you uh, work on this?" I, I like uh, one of my favorite things with the 2011 Muppet movie is when it's like we got to travel by map to get the band back together. And then it's like, but well, how come in, in the montage you didn't show me? And it's like cuts to Ralph and how they got uh, Ralph. And, it's, and they just walk up to him while he's taking a nap. It's like, you want to you wanna get the band back together? He's like, you yeah, know, okay. And now I understand a Billy and Mandy gag. Thank yep. you. We, we actually talked about that the other day, too. Yeah, we talked about that last night during Fortune Street. That's, like, there's so many good jokes if you go back and, like, everything. Not not just the use, but, like, you'll realize now that you're older, you're like, oh, my God, how did I miss that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That uh, Legendary Moments Twitter also posted just the picture of Scott Steiner the other day. We got the entire promo in, in just a single thread. <laughs> oh, the Voltaire episode. Yes, that one is so good for Billy and Mandy. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Brains, brains. I love them. I need them. All right. Uh, uh, Megan Art says, so seeing as this game just completely changes the plot from the movie, does this mean that we have a Little Mermaid timeline on our hands? This is the Ursula fucks up earlier timeline. The movie is the Ursula almost wins timeline, etc. Could be. How fitting, the, the donation. Mm. Uh, Winter, Winter says, There was an episode of Master Chef Junior US where Miss Piggy and the Swedish Chef guest starred, and Miss Piggy tricked Gordon Ramsay to cook her food for her. Go find a clip of it. It's amazing. Wow. I don't think we could play that. I can't play it on stream, but yeah, that sounds amazing, actually. All right. Uh, let's put our block. Kicking it off, first and foremost, with this. Is this zoomed in? No, it's, it's fixed. Okay. Next up on the TRG and Friends, Robot Masters is none other than Tim, Mr. In the Bathroom himself. This is Flushman, a former plumbing robot that Wily stole and reprogrammed to flood nearby towns into submission. Faucets like first. It. 
In his boss fight, Flushman can either chuck random stuff from his utility belt, use a plunger grappling hook to move above, uh, or move about rather, and use his special weapon, Flush Gun, a high-powered laser of water that takes a second to build pressure and can bounce off angled walls. Toilet is, in this should be obvious, uh, but I also designed Flush Man around Tim's OC Roxanne with this with the spiky hairdo and big goofy grin. I can grin. see it. I also gave him Yoshi's shoes since they're the same as Mario's, and well, Mario was a plumber. Nice, that's a good touch, Shuckle. You should show that to Tim. Yeah, he'll love that. Especially get a, if you color it all. Get equipped with power bidet. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you can't escape from Mega Man. In all honesty, the sheer number of Mega Man games that you played intentionally and by force, Fortune Cookie, is something I doubt anyone saw coming. Hopefully there won't be another Mega Man game that you'll be playing today. Pretty please, please. There's no Mega Man on the docket currently. Yet. Yet. Game Boy Advance version of, oh yeah, Night Before Christmas, The Pumpkin King. So I heard that you weren't a fan of the PS2 Night Before Christmas game that is sort of a pseudo sequel to the movie. I immediately remembered the lesser known GBA game that's actually a prequel to the movie. It's built like a Metroidvania style game akin to something yeah, like Circle of the Moon or Aria of Sorrow. I highly recommend checking out it. I played it. I don't have it, I don't think. I don't think I have it, but I'm going to keep an eye out for that now in that case. Cool. Hey, it's the game we literally just played. Sorry about the large picture, but I had to show this. I actually own this game and since and have since I was a child. It was surreal to actually have it appear on stream tonight and remember I owned it. Although, as you can tell, it's uh, seen better days. The gunk and the mess is all cosmetic on the cartridge show. Uh, also, I'm VI Cypher in chat. I changed my name everywhere because I fell out of love with my former name. Is there a way on the Buru to change username? No, you'll unfortunately have to just make a new account. Uh, and yeah, you can clean up that, that goop. That's just That looks like just coke gunk, honestly. Just take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and be careful with like a cotton swab. You'll get it off, no problem. Yeah, you'd be surprised how well alcohol can clean everything. Just be careful around the label. Mm-hmm, definitely. Of course this is a thing now. So I heard Rosa John hoodie. I just had to draw it. Don't mind the shoes. I'm not the best at drawing them. <laughs> I guess you get a... You get a nice view every time you put it on or zip it up? Oh god, zipping up that hoodie would be a nightmare, I just realized. How would it- oh my god. Yeah, how would that even work? Fuck. Design-wise, it's just the biggest nightmare. Second drawing of the night, Rosa John is Ariel. I also have a little bagel Sebastian, which turned out a bit creepy. No, I think it's funny. I I, I, think I it's, love it. I think it's the long arms with the claws that makes it seem creepy, but I think it's, it's really funny. I like it a lot. I think it's the eye patch, honestly. Like... It works either way. Thank you so much, Scourge. <laughs> with what he thought was the love of his life swimming off to fight some crazy octopus chick, Eric suddenly discovers where his romantic interests truly lie. Now that the fish is gone, we can get down to business. Jesus. Check out my melons, Eric. <laughs> Somebody mentioned a Rosa John hoodie, and the first thing I thought of was when I heard it was, well, that hoodie. So here's the design based around that. Well, it's not as, uh, unapproachable <laughs> as the Ahigo hoodie, or however you say it. Ahigo, uh, you mean? I, uh, yeah, Ahigo, whatever it is. But, uh... Hey, uh, the Ahagel gun, the Ahaglock. No, I. Oh, yes, I have seen that. Never mind. Yeah, no, this is a lot more approachable than that design. I'll tell you that much. Hello, Aquabat. With the mentioning of the Aquabats and MC Bat Commander GIF, I wanted went to draw the little bats. If you were an Aquabat, what would be your name? You know what? I've actually never thought of that. I have legit not thought of that. I've been to their, one of their concerts. I'm literally wearing an Aquabats wristband right now. Uh, but I've actually never thought of what my Aquabat name would be if I was a member. It's probably gonna have some play off a glitch. I don't know. I'll think about that. I haven't been able to finish any games yet this year despite being too busy with classes work, but just recently I started playing Astral Chain, so I based my character off of Chikai Anami from Danganronpa 2. Goodbye despair. Personally, I think I did an okay job. I'll take your word for it, because I don't really know Danganronpa designs that well characters. What's Aquabats? The Aquabats are a, uh, are a band. They're a... They're they real used, good. They used to be a ska band, but now I really call them, like... I don't know what genre I would call them. I guess, like, very poppy. But they are... Uh, they're a superhero band. They basically... They fight monsters on stage and stuff like that. And they have, like... They had a TV show for a couple years. 
where it was literally them like driving yeah, around show. the US like fighting crime and they just played songs all the time. It was really good. They, they might like, be giants uh, as yeah, Burger Rain. I'm trying to think of what else came from that show. I would show. be down for a rain of burgers right now. I mean, I guess that's just the plot of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Pretty much. They also, the like, like, a bunch of their songs albums. from their albums made it there, too, like Shark Fighter. Uh, they actually have a... They brought their show back recently with a Kickstarter, and it's on YouTube now. Uh, so Ooh. look up the Aquabats Super Show and go to the Aquabats YouTube channel for new episodes. I never pieced it together. I thought it was just, like, a regular YouTube series they were doing. No, it's straight up just... They did this... They're doing new episodes of the Aquabats Super Show, but just as YouTube episodes now. <laughs> I don't know how this trend started, but hey, it means I get to bring back a dumb joke that I made almost a year ago. I guess it's my lucky day. I... don't get the reference. Which I'm guessing is why you put the Twitter link at the bottom. No, it's the same thing. It's not a lucky emblem. Um, oh, is it? To say something. I'm looking. Oh, it is lucky emblem and ingredient at the same time. God damn it. That's exactly wow. what it is. That's exactly what it is. I was like, the only thing I could think of was the the lucky emblem, and they capitalized the lucky, so I'm like, it, it gotta be? But it, I, like, I don't remember. Why is it both? And then it's, oh, it's an ingredient as well. That's why, that's what I missed out on. God damn it, Dobie. Uh, let's see here. We've got All them crossovers. Is that American Dragon Jig Long or something like that? Yes. Proud Family, Recess, and Kim Possible. And Lilo I think and there Search. was a couple more they did. Oh, these are all crossovers, I just realized, because I see Lilo. Yeah, no, no, no. They're they're all yep. everything crossed over with Lilo and Stitch at the time. Since it got brought up, here's every crossover Lilo and Stitch did that I could find. <coughs> Damn. Alright, what we got over here? Ooh. The mention of Lilo and Stitch made me want to bring up the story about its creator, Chris Sanders, who also voices Stitch. So keen Disney observers might know Stitch's role and presence in Disney media has been reduced and sort of phased out, despite being a historically popular IP and the existence of an anime featuring the character that's licensed and Disney mostly ignores. There's a reason for all of this. See, Chris Sanders proposed a new movie to Disney Animation while working on the title American Dog, or with the working title American Dog. Production art and test reels still is featured here. But a dog film star who gets kidnapped wakes up somewhere far from home and has to get home all while thinking it's part of a movie or something. They were supporting characters in the form of a one-eyed cat and a radioactive mutant rabbit or something. Chris Sanders had a style for cute but weird. Disney Animation execs requested he make changes to the film before giving it a green light and Sanders didn't like this. He was removed from the project and American Dog ultimately morphed into the film Bolt. Oh wow. Chris Sanders, meanwhile, opted to terminate his contract with Disney in response. He would then switch over to DreamWorks, which he would create the Croods and How to Train Your Dragon franchises. Wow! That is a step up. Uh, this falling out, I strongly suspect, is why Stitch has been marginalized in the years since. Though Sanders has said he'd continue to voice Stitch if needed, evidently Disney would prefer to not see him again. That is a step from having a movie you want to make turn into Bolt to creating How to Train Your Dragons franchise. Damn. Happy ending, I guess. Happy ending. Random yeah. what the fuck Disney trivia. Ursula and the Little Mermaid was based on the drag queen Divine, who also planned to voice her, but died before they could record any lines. Is that really what the fuck? I mean... I don't know if that's what the fuck. Yeah, no. I mean, the, they got the look down for sure. I, I like the voice they had for Ursula too, to be fair, but I don't know how uh, yeah. Divine's voice would have been. Boobs. That final boss sprite, though. I mean, when you get gigantic, it just kind of happens. Speaking of gigantic, here is some gigantic sprites. Luckily, the Spriter's resource had the sprite sheet for this game, so I modified one of the aerial sprites to fit Rosa John. But for some reason, the brewer keeps giving me an error occurred. The image cannot be added because it already exists or is corrupted. Message whenever I try it. So I took a screenshot of it, opened in PaintNet instead, and uploaded the screenshot. I, maybe it was too small. There is a minimum yeah. size limit. That's probably what happened. Wait, there's actually a Rosa John that's too small for the Boo What? But I'm Tish. I know. And to one. and to answer what you just said, Dan. Ha! <laughs> look, look at this John. Isn't she neat? Wouldn't you think the John collection's complete? Not even close. Thank you though, Jumney. Looks great. I like Wouldn't the stars you think on those the uh, real the big teeth. <laughs> God I'm damn it. <laughs> 
Well played. I thank you. I thank you. And from what we said earlier during the game, well, someone said it, so it had to be drawn. Thank you, Winter, for putting the boob mouse pad under her chest, under her bra. I'm seeing raid countermeasure requests. I have to see what's going on here, because I don't see a raid. I don't see a raid. I just see people saying there is a raid. Uh, yeah, sure enough, Kyrie Hawk. One person raid. Will it work? Let's try it. <laughs> it worked. Yay. Maybe myself crack up more than anything. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> you gotta admit, that was funny. It was well played. Thank you for the raid, Kyrie. Uh, it's lightning round game clearing. That's not the right button. There we go. That's how many games we plan on completing tonight. That giant pile right there. Uh, we're trying to see if we can beat four more games tonight, and we're on game number three currently. The Muppets on with the show for the Game Boy Advance, which means Game Boy player is about to crash. Give it a moment. Uh, this was designed by TK. Oh god, that's loud. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Jim Henson Interactive and Vicarious Visions, the people who brought you some Tony Hawk games. What language are we playing? We're playing in English. Oh. Jim Henson's Muppets. On with the show. Press start. Let's start a new game. Oh, apparently I can what? only play okay. on easy. So all right, cool. Make the game way easier on me. All right, guys, it's time for our big number. Is everything ready on stage? Is the text auto? <laughs> I guess not. I guess not. Well, we have added some more performers. They're, they are our friends, so you should be able to work around them. Work around them? In my boat? <laughs> Kermie, no matter how many performers are out there, Moi is still the biggest star, right? No doubt about that. Ha! And now Kermit's Banjo Bayou Serenade! Help Kermit finish his song with all his band members. Use the control pad to dodge other Muppets. Just fucking fat jokes everywhere tonight, apparently. Let's go. Collect music notes and press A or B buttons to spin for protection. Holy shit, is this just a Back to the Future minigame? Avoid crashing into Miss Piggy or she will sink your boat. She's the iceberg. Let's jam. Do you think that if Kermit doesn't play the song right, then uh, you know he's just gonna disappear from the timeline since his parents aren't gonna get together? Fozzy, what are you doing here? Probably telling some great jokes. Waka waka. Uh oh, here she comes. Oh god, she's a mermaid! It's full circle! <laughs> one, one of my favorite uh, one of my favorite jokes from Fozzy in Treasure Island is what do you call a pirate that falls over? Black and blue beard. Hey, Fozzie's jokes aren't supposed to be good. Are we are we winning? I can't tell. I think I we just wait out the timer. Is that it? I think so. Yay! Yay! Oh, dude, those are the frogs from Ocarina of Time. I just noticed. Holy shit. <laughs> There's nothing like good music. And that was nothing like good music. Oh, oh they, they do it. They actually do the sound. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. We got a five-star rank. Nice. Our, Our password is Bilgiuk. Would have been seven stars from the Tokyo Dome. Rizzo, I'm hungry. You're always hungry. Is that Rizzo's uncle? Let's hightail it over to the kitchen set and see what's cooking. Did you know that... 
highs cost two fifty in the Bahamas and three fifty in hi in Haiti. There are pirates. Of oh god damn it! God damn it! And now it's time for more culinary chaos with the Swedish chef. No! <laughs> That's a pretty good animation, honestly. Sound bites are pretty good. Help chef protect his food ingredients. Press right and left to stand behind the food. Behind the food? Behind the food? What? Press Wait, A or B I buttons to whack the rats. Watch out for chickens throwing eggs. Press down to duck under the eggs. Wait, we don't duck under eggs around here, no. We... Oh, it's the song. Why is uh -oh. there a bowling ball? Oh shit, Why we got a pan ball? though. It takes place during Halloween. Get yeah. away. So why the bowling ball? You don't bowl on Halloween? Like Get away! Question. No! <laughs> no, the egg! No, my chicken! My turkey, I mean! Dad, we're not gonna give it no. to something! My boot! My bowling ball! <laughs> that was really shitty timing that the one I needed was right next to the. Oh, chicken, yeah. Yeah, it's a little BS. Go back my pineapple. Oh, two! Shit, two! Oh, dual wielding, yo! Dual wielding chef! Dual wielding chef! Ah! Berserker! Chef Akimbo! Berserker Barrage! Well, we definitely didn't get a five-star rating because of that. That was amazing. Today's this is our pineapple shoes, fish cake, and bowling alley. Edible bowling ball. See, now you got your... Pineapple shoe. Wow, actually, he's going to tell me what they are. Pineapple shoes, fish cake, bowling lantern. I really would have liked to have known what the other thing would, would have been. The chef sure is good with that frying pan. Yeah, until he starts to cook with it. It's fucking raw! We still got a five star, wow. Nice. Gwild it! Welcome to Muppet Labs, where tomorrow cannot wait until today is over. Today we are demonstrating our latest invention, the Muppet Labs Mixerific Maxi Mixer. Beaker, that's not a trash can, it's the Maxi Mixer's intake hopper. Quickly, Beaky, remove all the bad ingredients while I try to turn off the machine. And now, and now it is time for a peek at the future in Muppet Labs. No! There's an English patch for Virtual Pro Wrestling 64. Fuck yeah! For what? Virtual, Virtual Pro Wrestling. Pro Wrestling 64. Remove the bad ingredients before oh, yeah. they fall into the machine. Press A or B buttons to throw them. Listen to avoid the steam. I think I heard about that the other day. On one of the like Twitters I follow that are like, "Hey, here's some localized shit." I see they have a science clock instead of a regular clock. I think you're supposed to let the science go in. Yeah, I, I guess? Oh yeah, because there's a meter. Gotta let them science. Wait, why are you getting rid of the dinosaur skull? It's, it's a fossil fuel. That's like the best part. I guess it goes down every time. More science, please! More science! Give me all the science. We did More it. More science. And then it exploded. We got five stars! That was the second greatest invention of all time! What was the first? <laughs> the button that turns off this show! I didn't go for the minute joke of like, yeah, the button that turns off this game. All right, five oh. stars. Our password, lil 5 qs <laughs> Oh boy, what excitement, leaping through fire, jumping over moving trucks. And that was just my commute to the theater. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another ridiculous stunt with the great Gonzo. <laughs> Perform as I many outrageous this. stunts as you can by crashing into the targets. Move through each lane by pressing up and down. Jump over Hi, small objects by pressing A or B. Avoid large obstacles by moving or by using the ramps. 
Collect the blue balloons for bonus target points. Hi, I'm the Great Gonzo. Welcome to Jackass. Pretty much. Is this a rhythm game secretly? Uh, kind of looks like it's trying to be. Oh shit! It's very uh sensitive. Yeah. The machines. The machine sprite is huge. Oh, we definitely. Not, we're, not, we're definitely not getting five stars on this one. We're fucking this one up real bad. Dude, we got five stars on everything else. Come on, we got. That was it. That was an amazing stunt. You mean what he did with that bike? No, I mean staying awake through the act. In all fairness, they would have said that regardless. So I think you did a pretty good job. Yeah, replay. Has your chance to get that five star rating. We can pop a wheelie too. Got to impress Meltzer. Whoa. Is there like a slowdown button or? Nope. Okay, I think I see what I was fucking up. Hashtag plump. We're getting raided again. Whoa. Oh, they're gonna have to wait, Gonzo. And his lawnmower can only go so slow. Which, I mean, we can't stop the Gonzo train. Don't stop the Gonzo tonight. <laughs> hey, Gonzo. Nice that they give you more hay than uh, you need. How does he do that? I don't know, but let's get out of here before he does it again. <laughs> Boom, five stars. Our password is Kufzuf. And Jesset Roy's rating. Jet Set Roy, thank you so much for the raid. Hopefully your stream went well. We're doing lightning round on game clearing tonight. We're trying to finish as many games as we can tonight, or at least clear four or more. We are currently on game three. The Muppets on with the show. Greetings, Mr. Frog. You're just in time to see our latest invention. The Muppet Lab's Dino Door. This doorway opens a tunnel in time that leads all the way back to... Is this... Oh my, the, the Jurassic era! Oh, it's Miss Piggy. Jurassic pork. Frog. <laughs> Kermy, it's time for our number and I'm Sans Frog. Kermy? Sans! <laughs> doo -doo -doo -doo. Help Piggy save Kermit and her career! Wow! Press yeah. A or B button to hit items back at Jurassic pork. Press left or right to dodge objects or press down to duck. Avoid hitting Kermit. Oh. I mean, this is actually how this situation would go normally with the two of them. What is it with, with 
pigs in the Muppet universe and them just kind of, like being horny for frogs. Kermit's got a type. They make a joke about that in like the more modern Muppets. Yeah, they do actually joke yeah. about that. Oh, I thought I could karate that. I think you. I think you just dodge those. You could only slap a massive rock. You really think you could slap a sandbag out of the way? Oh, I wanted that camera. You get to activate the selfie mode. Oh, that would be two damage. <laughs> I can slap a. Hey, 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 hey! Look, Miss Piggy is the original Chris Redfield, you see. I, I, I. Oh, yeah, we just karate chopped the building. We're fine. <laughs> Look, could Chris Redfield, like, karate chop a uh, boulder out of the air? No. Probably. They say the Jurassic Park is for prehistoric times! <laughs> yeah, just like us! <laughs> Alright, I don't think that was a five star. Nope, four star. We gotta replay that. You know what that means? More! <laughs> I love how you're committed to getting the five star because everything else has been five. Look, we know what to do now. Perfection. Jurassic Park is fucking that frog. <laughs> I think I only did one this time. Nope. This karate pig is going. Still want to try to karate that. Oh, now it did too. Yeah, why are they random? Really? I don't think. Damn it! Into my That's me. Ah. <laughs> I think it's God just at it. that point. I'm not sure I like the direction Shrek 5 is going. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize it was oh, completely, a completely different line. Shit. I guess it's randomized. Hmm. I like that they gave multiple lines to Sattler and Waldorf for the same minigames. That's a nice touch, actually. Still five star, hell yeah. Hey. hey. BQ 36G. Let's go. Fleet in this Why game. Five stars. <laughs> is everybody ready to rock? Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. And now it's time to give it up and get down with the electric mayhem. <laughs> Help electric mayhem play their song. Repeat the button sequence illustrated in the time bar while you listen to the music. Have fun with shitty rhythm games. Look at him slap that keyboard. <laughs> oh, this move is so slow. Oh boy. Wow, this. Oh, oh, this is painful. Now repeat. Thankfully, the timing seems pretty lax because of how slow it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wait for it to speed up for the final one. Watch. Remember, this is still on easy. Okay, you're, you're right. Watch him somehow put like R's and L's into this. Even though it's just on the screen already. It did say perfect. When we lit up the stage. You may find yourself living in a shotgun shack. Oh yeah, no, the loop is really bad. You can hear when it loops. Although it ended, so you can't really listen not, to it anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> I hope this band makes a record. Why? <laughs> so I can break it. <laughs> Five stars. Continue. Go snow. We did it. We unlocked medium. Game's over. <laughs> Password is Gonzo. Or go seven no. So how's it feel? Uh, Yay! The easiest Muppet game I think you've played here. Very. Party Cruise was up there, but... Probably the least offensive as well. 
I gotta say, you know, nothing will ever compare to the amazing plot twist of Spy Muppets. Oh yeah, I forgot about that twist. Where uh, it turns out that uh, Bunsen and Beaker were just uh, Statler and Waldorf the whole time. Mm. All right. <laughs> let's, <for> this. <laughs> let's let's get some credits on here too. We earn these. We earn these credits. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Great game. Thank you, Vicarious Visions. You did great. All right, and with that, let's... I was going to say go to the cookie. Nope, not cookie. Let's get ready for the next game. I got one you can beat in about two hours. Hmm. Two hours might be too long, as we're trying to beat games really fast. It'll be number four. Well, four is the record. How do you feel like you, you Hawk Show Spirit Detective? Oh my god, no. Alright, fine. We should decide that it's gonna be a cookie. Just saying the PB is like a high 45. <laughs> that's a that's a speedrunner time though. You're right. right. That's why I said two hours. Yeah, have you noticed any of these games have not even been close to one hour? Yeah. Let's do Far Cry 4 if you've do never I, done it. Do I own Far Cry 4? All we have to do is sit there. We don't even need to play the game. It technically counts. I don't even know if we own Far Cry 4. I was looking for the cookie tab, and then I remembered I'm not even doing cookies, so I don't actually have that up. We can beat that next month, then. Hell yeah! I don't own Far Cry 4. Damn. Rip. It's a shame. Would have been the easiest game to ever clear. All right. You just shit, you know, you, you sit there and you just enjoy the, the tea and the crab and game. And he comes back and he's like, oh, hey, uh, thanks. Someone gifted him. It has to download. That's going to take a bit. <laughs> yeah, it definitely wouldn't be installed either way. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be done tonight, then. Roland Reyes for 2, NJ Chef for 15, Mary Grove for 13, Hero Protagonist for 26, Chaos Cheebs for 18, I Just Kick Stan for 33, Murasame for 50, and D Chunk and Friends for 5. Thank you for some guys. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of... Dropbox crashing. Uh... Derek sends in, I thought this was going to happen before Muppets Party Cruise. that on Saturday? Yeah, I think we did. I thought we did. Either way, we're gonna go to break when we come back. Um, you know what? I got two, I had, I'm gonna change the order I had written down here slightly. I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go get my 3DS capture unit and we're gonna try out uh, Looney Tunes duck -amuck. We're gonna play ourselves okay. uh, a Looney Tunes cartoon. See you guys in a bit. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Sure. Or 3D hasn't been done yet. We we beat that, remember? Didn't we? Wait, what? Didn't we beat someone? Someone put that in the chat. Pretty sure we beat that, right? What, Duck and Muck? No, no, or 3D. Oh yeah, that was like one of the first mod choices. That was my mod choice, which somehow people don't realize is mine. Like what? And why? I didn't suggest to play that though. Someone in chat did. <laughs> You're a mod, Dan. Nah, I've just got tenure. Man, I miss Duck Dodgers. What a great show. Had a lot of great crossovers, and the character designs were amazing, especially the Martian Princess. Also, ten. Also, Tom Jones. Yes. It's not unusual to be in love with anyone. How do, how do I feel about smaller streamers? You would know I heavily support them. 
I, I talk about that plenty of times. I've, t I t I've talked about it this month of, on stream here. How great they are. You mean like me? <laughs> I mean, I was talking in general, but I mean... It was a joke. What about taller streamers? Well, Dovi, you see, you're... You're pretty tall. <laughs> if I get John to break from Warp 3D, I can create a new world order. If he beats it, I have tenure! If he survives, they're fairies! If not, I have tenure! God, How do I really? feel about the six characters in Smash? You know, I'm happy for whoever gets in. I've been the entire time. Good news. I finally got Fireman 1, 2, and 3 in Battle Network 1. Nice. That, that sucked to fucking get, because... The okay. fucking RNG. Yeah. Cause I... Please tell me you at least save stated. No. Damn. I had I had some really bad luck in some of those games trying to find those uh, random bosses, or I'd be like, "Where the fuck are they?" Even even with the things that helps you find them more, I'm just like, "Where where are they?" It's been like two hours. Where are they? I'll save state and I'll scum for the fucking chip trader. That I will scum for. Yeah, the actual fight I don't care about. I just save state to, just for getting into the fight. That Gifakiru you getting the octopus tossed at him. Who's worried about the Silent Hill reboot? Okay, I'm gonna quote Silent Hill 2 for a moment. You might remember the scene with Angela where she's walking on the staircase and it's covered in fire. Uh, I'm just gonna say, for me, it's always like this. Because that's pretty much my thoughts on there even being any Silent Hill news. If it's good, I'll, I'll find out when the game actually comes out. What a great Konami's character Angela was. Wait, Konami's trying to bring back some of their IPs, what? I'll believe it when I see them. Yeah, I was about to say that. They bring back the right piece all the time. It's a lot of issues. Yeah, see? Tiger Breath knows what's up. Right as I'm saying it. Nothing pisses me off more than the Metal Gear Solid 3 Pachinko Machine, which has the best looking cutscenes. And they're not even in the game. Man, that Contra new game looked uh, awful. Looked so low effort. There was a rumor that was a Wii game that got cancelled and then they uncancelled it. That's that shitty ass... It's the new one. I I didn't know there was a new one until like I saw some video on it. That's the shitty ass twin stick, right? Yeah, it's real bad. I was excited for it and then immediately saw how it played and I was like, Yeah, I don't need to get this and I made the right choice. Hmm. Contra Rogue Core. Hmm. It's bad. Don't don't bother.
Yeah, but the game didn't have any bees in it anyway. You're just like, don't worry about it. I see Contra with cooldown. Are we talking about Rogue Core? Yeah, I was talking about how awful it was. Yeah, it's pretty bad. We have streamed that as well. It is a thing. What I want to do is system update. Calm down. All right. Unplug the controller. Plug in system. Plug in. I guess yep. while you're doing that. <coughs> Alright, uh, let's read a couple quick donations. Oh, uh oh. Okay. okay, good. Bagel. Did go back to sleep. There are no donations, so let's. We got our block. A lot of all the bits are just triggering different Wario's. So let's go to the art block. Y'all are keeping very busy. Getting that art block going real fast. Let's do it. <laughs> you kidnapped Jack Black? That's illegal! Since John's playing a Muppets game, I actually have a Muppets-related sto story that is fucking amazing. Thanksgiving weekend 2011, everyone on my dad's side of the family has gotten together at my grandparents' house. We had a few hours of time to kill before dinner would have been ready. So we decided to go see a movie. That movie, of course, was The Muppets. So we all gathered in our cars and met back at the movie theater. While we are all waiting in the lobby with my grandparents, we were getting, uh, while my grandparents were getting the tickets, two guys walking dressed as Statler and Waldorf. Here's where it gets better. They were high school buddies of one of my uncles that was with us. People even ended up taking pictures with them while waiting for the theater to empty. That's only the beginning, though. After we get into the actual theater, the same two dudes grab seats in the way back and start making the same kind of jokes Statler and Waldorf would make. And then it got amazing. All of a sudden, another one of my uncles goes, <laughs> Mana Mana. And the kids respond with the doot doo doo doo. He does it again, and this time somebody on the other side of the theater does the response. Eventually led to the entire theater singing the song. Unfortunately, I. Uh oh. I was wondering why I was seeing Zoom. My bad, fixed it. It's all text, anyways, don't worry. Uh, all of a sudden, another one of my uncles go. Mana mana. Yeah, we remember that part. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any pictures or video of all this, as I didn't have a phone at the time that could record good video or good quality pictures. This was right before smartphones were becoming the norm, after all. To top it off, though, since the movie ends with the same song, the entire theater bursts into laughter and cheers when Amy Adams started the song. Oh, crap. Bagel's up. He's awake and he is leaving. All right. Also, I shouldn't be recording in a movie theater, though. Heads up. Yeah, don't also do that. that. Also, don't, don't do, do that. that. <laughs> Another quick sketch for John's stream. Rosa John the Mermaid in quite a predicament as Bagel the Catfish looks on. It's so hard to be dummy thick. Okay, so here's the question I have for this situation. How did she get half of her body at that point okay, to begin with? Okay, have you ever seen the people who get stuck in like the railings and then they need the firemen to get them out? Yeah. Like that. <laughs> but with, okay. So are we implying that she got her butt through that and then got stuck? Or are we implying she got her tits through that and got stuck? Tits. Nice. I was gonna uh, say yes, but that works too, I guess. Boob squish. All right, yeah, I guess you got me there. Sheer willpower. I mean, that's the point also, of the mouse pad. it's soft and malleable. God damn it, the fucking mouse pad again. <laughs> God damn it. With the shell bra? Yeah, of course. That thing has to. Be, it's a very you know, soft shell bra. You know those soft shells that's, you find that's under, how under the ocean. Work. I was gonna say something clever, but I'm obviously not the only one to draw a mermaid, Rosa John, and Sea Bagel. Ah, oh, well, I have the sketch anyways. I had fun drawing it anyways. Thank you, Tulip. Hey, it's very cute. Fun doing it. She might have backwards long jumped into it or something. I don't know. B butts have actual muscles. I love how many people are like, it's the tits, you idiot. Tits are just fat. They'll fit. They're malleable. The sea is the only world. Mermaid Rosa John battles the first boss shark from Evo. I was gonna say I thought that's what that font was. I mean, we must have evolved real one. fast if that were already a mermaid in Evo. Oh wow! Oh my God, you got the first draw pile full already? Holy shit! So this is the first of two draw piles from tonight, titled Quonk. 
To be fair, I was actually playing 14 for half of this one, so I left when there was a bagel with a sword and came back with so many things. I don't even know, I'm responsible for this terrible math. Now for the artist comments. I was told to draw boobs, so I did from Kyupo. Chill Ray, everybody run, hat kids got a sword, and Quonk, or alternatively, a literal fucking gun from Ultimate Spaz. Ult, uh, Ultimate Spaz, Jet said, flaming one up, Chill Ray, Daydream Glorbug, that guy Perseus Q. Wow, there was a lot of you guys on the draw pile today. Uh, Horizon Strider, Lazy Maharsh, Ladoggle, and Eudiptes. And missed a comment from Flaming One Up. Rosa John taking a coffee break while in the madness. Let's start over here. We got a mermaid. We got a fork. We got some math. We got some flags. We've got... What? <laughs> one plus one equals L. Yes, that... I, I saw that. Uh, That's why I was like, wait, what? <laughs> The most it's important it. thing we have out of this, though, is uh, trans rights. Exactly. I love how we also have a eh, titty. And some weapons. And some sands. Some fish. Some Santas. Lots of Santas. Look at Santa Kirby here. And we have Propeller Knight going after that birthday cake. It's a real good Propeller Knight, Cupo. It's cute Thulu in the bottom. How the fuck are stairs haunted? Those are pretty. Mermaid John alt version. Yep, there you go. Yeah, the, old, the, old, the old reverse mermaid. <laughs> Hi. Get the one buff arm. That's how we kept killing everyone. We got the buff mermaid here as well. <laughs> She's like pointing up to the sky like, I will save everyone by throwing these bubbles at people. Bega with his flexible katana. And there's a little coffee break too. Eating a bag of chips. Perfect. I'm even gonna like, like a little mermaid computer. Just... One like that. This hand of mine burns with a bubbly power. <laughs> it tells you to defeat you. It's my perfect. love, my anger, and all my sorrow. Burning bubble. Shining finger tits. I, I mean, you asked for one. It's had to go a bit cartoony. Use the habanero color palette. Not uh, now. I must head to bed. How do you work at 6 a.m.? It is 1 a.m. right now. Uh, I gotta check how this would look in the small size, because it's kind of the right idea. Yeah, the small size is always... If it doesn't look good in the small size, it's usually... Small size is always the biggest fucking concern with doing emotes. It's so fucking frustrating. like, 99% of emotes, I'm always like, Wow, that looks amazing when I see the small one. Mm, sadly, I don't think it'll work. I'm gonna have to run that through a checker later. John, I wish you owned Far Cry 4 so you could do the ending where you, all you do is sit in a room for 15 minutes. I promise to post this before everyone else had the same idea. <laughs> to be fair, he did. Season did. All I'm saying, you gotta pick it up for game clearing just so we could do it. I'll think about it. It'll be the best 15 minutes ever. We could do whatever we want during that 15 minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> the orange. Hi-ho, it's Rosa John! What do you mean it's not her? Look at her in all her sexy beauty! Yay! Yay! <laughs> now Miss Piggy will stop bothering me, and I'll be fine, I'll be free! What is this? Oh, yeah. Just a reminder that Muppets did a crossover with Untitled Goose Game. Oh, we got another butt pad. Since the mousepad meme has been taking off, I feel obligated to share this dumb thing I did last year. It might not be boobs, but hey, cheers to questionable mouse pads. Oh, yeah, it's, oh okay, it's the Danganronpa character, that's why. Because I see Monokuma. Alright. What the hell? Since Muppets came up on stream, can I point out how the Bunsen's gorilla detector from the Muppet Show had a bit of a resemblance to Donkey Kong? And keep in mind, the episode aired about 17 years prior to redesign of DK that Rare did. My bad, it was 18 years before Donkey Kong Country. I thought the game came out in 93 instead of 94. It's like he's about to get his head chopped off by that gorilla. Fuck yeah, it actually is pretty similar. Wow. Huh. That's cool. God damn it. Someone did it. Banjo Megalovania intensifies. It's just the rainbow connection, but faster. But Dad, I love no. <laughs> the Little Murjon. It all began when one of King Beluga John's sons, particularly curious Little Murjon, decided to skip his dad's coronation anniversary and decided to hang around by the surface. Then he came across a cruiser liner that's slowly pedaling along his side of the ocean. He goes to check it out and was seriously engrossed by all the new sights he sees. 
But one sight in particular caught his eye, a giant egg hunched over a laptop, watching what looks like someone yelling at a screen with where what looked like a small blocky image of another mer person was sailing across the screen. The egg seemed to teeter in delight at watching this screen with the name of said screen on the top right, Twitch. Of course, this little adventure of his got the Mer John in trouble with his dad, and he was forbidden from going up into the surface again. Will Mer John ever be part of the egg's world? And what of that strange witch cat octopus that lives far from the kingdom who could help him? Can he trust her? Or can he trust him? I promise next time I upload any fan art, it's going to be less silly. I don't know, I'm okay I mean, with this. Thanks, Jasper. Hey, there, no one's complaining about the what you put in it. <laughs> I want to be where the viewers are. I'm part of Egg's world. Using those, what do you call them, emotes? Get. What do we got here? With my worries cleared somewhat, I present another art of Hunter John. I hereby dub uh, Joanna and her Palico Bagel. It's technically a representation of where I am in Monster uh, MHGU. It's the Legaya Chris and, and Levitate set and the Gore Magala set. Hope you like it. Expect colors later. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. That's a little bagel up there. I was just like, I was trying to figure everything out. I, I don't, I'm not into Monster Hunter, so it's a little lost. I think I mean, this does look cool, is. though. Yeah, out of the mod team. But the I, three here. <laughs> Reza says, can I write and sing, write this and sing it? Yeah, go for it. By all means, you're welcome to it. Jasper says, "Can I make a full fanfic of this again? By all means, I will encourage anything." Yeah, no I, one, no one stop you. We encourage. I, you. I don't know how many times I have to say, "Kind of just do whatever you want." I think it's cool have, before have people fun realize. Yeah. Creative. This is why I encourage awesome about all that. of this. He says, as the giant titty mermaid version of him shows up, again in <laughs> colored. I encourage all of this, including this. Colored now, also not relevant to anything in stream or stream artwork, but make sure to credit artists when you use their art in a transformative way. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, the, the, yeah, for the, the hoodie. Past. Yeah. No matter who it is, ask them for their fucking permission before you do that. It's beautiful, Germany, thank you. And from Zion, oh my god. <laughs> I can't think of a funny enough capture for this, I just think the two most powerful characters of your lore, this stream, fighting would be a sight to behold. All right, so we've got the Swedish chef is General Grievous. And I guess we've got, I was gonna say, I thought that was Rambo, but I'm trying to figure out exactly based on the hair. Is that supposed to be just like a version of Robert Cop that just fits? I guess he would have a hard time finding the angle. I honestly thought it was uh, Sigourney Weaver. I'm like, how? That's a woman. I gathered that. Gun girl from Bushido. Oh, right! Fuck, I already blocked that out of my mind. The trauma was a little too much. It is in fact, yes, that is Gun Lady from Bushido. Now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Does it really though? Well, nothing makes nothing everything. makes sense around here, dude. Let's be fear, let's be real. We've combined Miss Piggy with Sans. Alright, let's do it. Next up! He's got you there, Juker. About what? Life? But yes. <laughs> Alright, how much do you bet? I wasn't, I wasn't even like saying it. I was like, wait, what? I was so confused by that. Mm. How much do you bet? Oh, wait, who, who said that in the chat? That wasn't me! Oh, wait, who in... I thought that are, was you. Are you no. okay? Are you I don't even know okay? what you said. I was like, wait, what? Alright, so we've got double screens here because we had that going. So let's fix that. That one's correct. And... Where's the correct window? This one? Nope. This isn't the Looney Tunes game starring the Scooby-Doo cast, is it? No. There, There is one on the 3DS that is half Looney Tunes, half Scooby-Doo. This is Looney Tunes Duck Amuck. A game for the DS, done by a studio you might not expect. Licensed by Nintendo, Warner Brothers Games, and way forward, the Shantae ah. people. Looney Tunes, Duck Amuck. Oh, this one actually might need, ooh, actually yes, this is, 
probably going to need the... Uh, I think it depends on the game. Let's see. Touch here to start. Wow. That's, I dig the 